here that was sitting right next to a dumpster and I looked at him and he, he knew what I was going to do and I'm like, come on. And those things are heavy. Have you ever thought you lost something that you sold and then you found it? So here's the deal. In all this moving and all the chaos between the two places, the eBay cave here and the Commonwealth cabin, this guy got lost in the shuffle. This would be normally be an item that I would have put on a shelf somewhere, just because, I don't know, I think it's cool. Plus, Turner likes to look at them. You know, I'd put it right there, or I'd put it inside, something like that, but I didn't, and I could not find it anywhere. I'm like, where would I put this thing? And it turns out that it was upstairs in a USPS tub that my wife was working out of, and she didn't think she listed any of those things. But it turns out uh, she knew exactly where it was. I just had to ask her. So there's kind of the trials and tribulation of a couple trying to sell things together. Sometimes you get some stuff lost in the shuffle. It's Mattel. I can't remember the year. Maybe 2011. This little plastic guy. So for $10.65 plus shipping. So whenever I see cars stuff out there at garage sales... For, you know a quarter a piece or whatever i just buy them all or i try and bundle them together there's usually something worth some money so i bought this in a bundle and i'm sure i made more on this guy plus a profit of five bucks or so for everything i bought and turner gets to play with them and i get to sell some in my antique booths and somebody gets a nice little new frank i think that's his name frank right Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty anxious and eager to get out of this eBay cave here today because it is a beautiful day outside. And then we'll get back in that Commonwealth cabin later as well. Matter of fact, I have some things in there that need to be pulled and need to be shipped. So this video will transition in there in a few minutes. And the kids have some things. The kids, I think, have five things right now that need to be shipped out of the Homeschool Hustler store. Maybe we'll throw two or three of them on this video and then film it later and, and put the other two on tomorrow's video. But that store has been doing pretty well of late, even though I haven't been listing a ton on there. But right now, I better get to work because that post office is going to close at 5 o'clock today. And I got a handful of things I got to get ready to ship. And a couple aren't easy. Matter of fact, one of the things that we are shipping out today is something we found in a dumpster. A little dumpster diver that me and my boy picked up last year. I've talked about it a couple times before. I think this is the last piece off of it. We parted it out and we'll let you take a look at that. And some other things that sold today as well. Let's take a look. I guess we'll start with that item, actually. This is a Nordic Track Ski. It's the old version. I can't remember the model number on this. It might even be the very first model. And me and my boy parted this out. So it was just a Nordic Track skier that was sitting right next to a dumpster. And I looked at him, and he, he knew what I was going to do. And I'm like, come on. And those things are heavy. Now, it is one of the... Matter of fact, it is the hardest thing that I have ever shipped out. I shipped an entire Nordic Track out. It took me an hour and a half to get that thing ready to ship. It showed up in good condition, and I made a bunch of money off of it. I think I made like $190 profit off of it, but right then I swore to myself I would never do it again. <laughs> it was just too much work. But I have parted a lot of them out. If I can buy them for the right price, and I mean dirt cheap, then sometimes I'll buy them if I don't have a lot to list. I passed one up late in the summer, maybe early fall at a garage sale, because I just didn't have the time or the energy to deal with it. They are good money, but they are very difficult and very expensive to ship. So if I lived in a metropolitan area, which I do not, I would definitely be picking these up and flipping them locally, but it's just not really an opportunity here. We just don't have a very high population. Even right where I'm at is virtually nobody. We, you know, we have a few neighbors here on this road and not too many too close to that. But this is the last piece and it sold for $15.95 plus shipping. And this is not going to be a difficult item to ship. You might think it is, but it's not. It's just going to be a USPS tube box and we might have to put two together and it'll just barely, I've shipped these before, it will just barely stay under that dimensional jump where the prices go up a little bit. So $15.95, it's the last piece. We probably made $70, $80 profit off of selling off the parts and pieces. If I can remember, I'll link it below. All right, this one is from a rainbow vacuum cleaner. It's the short tube with the little uh, curved nozzle. And that's all it is right here. It's actually pretty light and the shipping on these can be pretty cheap. 
because they're not really big. It's kind of bittersweet for me though because I picked this up. You probably remember me picking it up at a garage sale not too long ago. It was an indoor uh, Catholic church sale. I paid 25 bucks for the full machine, had tons of accessories. I was planning on selling the whole unit together, which is not something I usually do in selling it for around 200 bucks. But I broke where the wand goes into the nozzle. I broke it. I put it in the back of my car and it was wedged in there. And I'm like, why is this thing not moving? And I just pushed it and it broke. I just saw a lot of my profit disappear when I did that. But all the parts that are left are still going to make us a pretty nice little profit. I was hoping for around 200 bucks. It's going to be more like half of that. And this one did not sell for very much. I was a little disappointed in it, actually. I sell a lot of the Electrolux hoses and get pretty good money. A lot, oftentimes $25, $30 plus shipping. This one on the rainbow for this particular hose only got $11 plus shipping. So it's pretty low on that. But like I said, in the end, we'll make some money. Don't underestimate vacuum cleaners. Don't think of them as huge money makers with little effort because they do take quite a bit of effort, but there is a lot of money to be made in some vacuum cleaners. Speaking of vacuum cleaners, I had one from the sale uh, that, that aired a few weeks ago that was actually from around a month or two ago at this point. And that one I have not even got out of the back of my car. And I'm hoping to make about $300 on that one, but we'll see. All right, love it when these things sell, and I love it even more when two of them sell to the same person, which is awesome. They are free shipping, so when you have two items that are free shipping like this, and you can save a little bit of the cost. Now, unfortunately, this is going to go from first class to priority mail, so we're not saving a whole ton of money, but we are saving a little bit. So I paid like $470, $460 for these, something like that. And they are $40 t-shirts originally. I bought them on a clearance at Sam's Club. I've talked about them before. I'm not making more than about five bucks a piece on these when we sell them. But two together selling for $35.69. It's going to make us a little bit more than we traditionally do. And we're whittling these down. It looks like there's three of this left and only one of these left. And then we have a bunch of red ones too. Hey, we've got a couple items going out to the same viewer, and he's one of the most appreciated viewers around here, and we appreciate you. You probably recognize him on YouTube if you ever do any of the comments. He has the Ford Pinto reversed as his name. So he has asked for a few things here. He has bought a couple things out of the Commonwealth Picker store, and he looks like he's also bought some out of the Homeschool Hustler store. So we'll just take a peek at that in a minute. And he's written a nice little comment, so let me read it to you real quick. He says, Kevin, hope all is well with you and your family. On the end of man, I was hoping you could send one of the misfits and sign it as well. I was hoping you could also sign both of the CDs. Love your channel and everything you do for the reselling community. Also going to purchase something out of the Homeschool Hustler store. Um, would you be able to combine all that together? Hoping this is over soon, aren't we all? Don't want it to disrupt the Reseller Rally 2020. Thanks again. So Richard, we do appreciate it, and we will make sure we autograph both of those for you. Find you some sort of a misfit, send it off to you, and combine the shipping with the Homeschool Hustler sale, which is a little odd. You know, let me tell you something about something. If you have two stores, combining shipping is a little bit harder than you might think. It won't let you take the tracking number from one of the stores and put it on the other store. It just won't allow you to do that. So we're gonna do that with these two and then we'll put that tracking number over there. And then that item over there won't have a tracking number. But if it appears to you as that one's not getting shipped, it is, it just doesn't have a tracking number attached to it. So at any rate, Richard, we do appreciate it and we hope they bring you some great luck. See what I mean? Unbelievable. Beautiful day. All right, so we got a couple of homeschool hustler store sales right here. And Turner, you don't even know what that is, do you? No. <laughs> uh, I'm a history teacher. You should know what that is. So these are four documents of freedom, it says. Constitution of the United States, Declaration of Independence, Gettysburg Address, and the Bill of Rights. And I believe they sold for $14.95 plus shipping. It might be $14.95 free shipping. i got to double check that. But that's a nice little sale out of the Homeschool Hustler store. And we paid nothing for it. Nothing at all. Grammy sent it to us. Yeah, quite a few of them, actually. So thank you, Grammy. Can you tell her thank you? <laughs> all right, and Reagan, could you show us those right there? Is there just one of them? I thought we had more. Here, hold on. Oh, there they are. Huh. Yep, they all sold here. Yep. This one went to a viewer. It went out to Richard. Can you all tell Richard thank you? Thank you, Richard. <laughs> and they sold for $15.81 to Richard. And there's some Halloween clings. Do you all like the clings that you put on the windows? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Mama likes to put those on too, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Yep. And we're going to send those out to Richard. And he bought a couple other things from us too. 
So can you all say thank you? Thank, thank you. you. All right, and we'll give you each a dollar, a dollar to save, a dollar to spend, and a dollar to donate. Okay? All right, thanks, guys. You want to go back outside and play? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty, isn't it? All right, so I came in here to do a little bit of shipping. Actually, I got to pick up two more items that sold out of the back back here, and Reagan scared me. I thought you were with Blue Ridge Mama, <laughs> but you're not, are you? And I'm like, who is in my shed? So at any rate, we had two more things sell out of here, and I'm going to show you those real quick, and then I'm going to get some shipping done and get this stuff off to the post office. All right, the first one is up there, but I'm going to grab these couple of plushes first. So we have the first skins from, I guess they're what, Cabbage Patch Kids. So I'm going to put those over here. We'll talk about those for a second. And then you'll have to forgive me, but i got to get up there and get that. We'll bring that down here and talk about that for a second. All right, I had to get up on that ladder right there to grab that talking baseball game. Reagan, you doing all right back there, girl? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it was a pretty quick seller. It sold really, really quickly, and it sold for $39.99 free shipping. Not free shipping, $39.99 plus shipping. Bought that from Tim the Toy Man, and it was a pretty good little buy. I can't remember what we paid. It was a big bundle buy, so we didn't make a ton of money off it, but we bundled all kinds of items with Tim the Toy Man quite a while ago, and we are well into the profit. So even at a pretty low selling price there, $39.99, it's missing a couple little parts. For the most part, it's all together, but it's missing a couple little things. So I'm pretty happy with $39.99. It'll be a lot easier to ship than the electronic football was for sure. That one was kind of a beast. It was a lot bigger and a little bit thicker and I couldn't find the right box. I think I'm gonna be able to find the right box for that one. The other two items that sold are these fur skins and we're barely making just a couple of bucks on them. They sold for $10 free shipping. They go out first class just as they are in a poly bag. And I paid 50 cents a piece for them. So we're just literally making like three, four dollars on it is all. But it's better than nothing. So now we gotta run back inside and see what's now we gotta run back inside and see the last couple items that we sold out of there, and then we'll put them all together and we'll get this stuff ready to ship and head them on off to the post office. Now we gotta run back inside and see the last couple items that we sold out of there, and then we'll put them all together and we'll get this stuff ready to ship and head them on off to the post office. All right, it probably doesn't seem like it to you, but it's been a little while since you just saw me in that Commonwealth cabin. Had a little cat emergency here. Looks like Pepper has some kind of a wound. Not sure if something attacked. It's probably boots. Uh, I shouldn't say that. So we had to get uh, Pepper all ready to go, and Blue Ridge Mom is going to take her into the vet. It's interesting in these times we live in here where it's basically a drive through drop-off at the vet. So hopefully she's okay, and we'll give you an update on that later. Got a couple of inner men going out, one to Robert and one to Douglas, and just wanted to say thank you. Douglas says, hello, love your channel. My wife, Wendy, told me we had, all caps, to have one of these for our eBay room. So, so thank you, Douglas, and thank you, Wendy, and we hope they bring you some great luck. Sold one of our old faithfuls, the mouse trap replacement balls. They don't make much money, but they sell quite a bit. We sold a couple of lost and found golf club head covers, and these tend to sell even if they're in bad shape. The G5 is a G5, Ping G5. It's got the 19 degree loft on it, and it sold for $9 free shipping. It's all pure profit at this point from that one private pick we did, and so we'll add this to our total. And this one actually went out to a viewer, so this is a tailor-made Rossa putter cover. And it's not in the greatest condition, but it's got some life left in it for sure. It sold pretty cheap, $7.41, and let me read you the comment real quick. Love the channel. The YouTube reseller community is amazing, and I enjoy learning from everybody. I started a channel myself called Midwest Bargains. I've uploaded a few videos now, and I'm having a lot of fun. Thanks so much for all the positivity. We appreciate it. Hope your sales continue to do well. So, Jacob, thanks so much, and we'll uh, have to check out Midwest Bargains when we have a minute. So, we appreciate it, and we hope you enjoy the putter cover as well. All right, here's an update on the lost and found sale. So $250 buy, we're up to $483. All right, this is another for my wife. And Amanda, you think that's true out there? You think they're really, it's like, I have a friend who wants one of these or my wife wants, it's like what I say at a garage sale. I'm not sure, let me call my wife about that one. And then you go look it up. Probably shouldn't do that. Anyway, for my wife, she watches your YouTube channel. She is also a reseller, resell therapy. Can you sign them please? Thank you. Absolutely, we will sign them both and send them out to you. So thanks, Scott, and thank you, Scott's wife. We appreciate it. 
Hey, we have so many things selling out of the Homeschool Hustlers store. I'm going to have to grab one of these little guys if they're still around. If they didn't go in the cat ambulance to the hospital there, which I, they probably didn't. But in case I forget to say goodbye in there, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for joining us. The channel keeps growing and growing, and we really do appreciate it. And we hope you all enjoy, and we hope you're having a good day today, and we hope you're staying healthy and happy, and we'll see you next time. All right, now Turner has a little Homeschool Hustler store sale as well. Turner, do you know what that thing is? Uh, it's a hopopotamus. Good job. 1984, and this is a wuzzle. If y'all see wuzzles out there, they go pretty good. There's some wuzzle lunch boxes, and I think there's a wuzzle cassette player. I think I sold one of those before. This guy I picked up at a yard sale for 25 cents. 25 cents. So it sold for 19.75. Turner, 19 dollars and 75 cents plus shipping. So that's a pretty good little sale. Yep. Yep. And we are going to get you a dollar for this and a dollar to spend, a dollar to save, and a dollar to donate. All right. You tell everybody goodbye. Bye.